So in this video, what we'll do is we'll actually start adding more to our scene here uh, to get this looking a little bit better um, and then play around with our lighting. So what we're doing is we're, we're sort of scene building. I'm not going to go crazy here, but the more time you spend on it and the more detail you add, the better it's going to look, uh, which is sort of common sense there. Uh, but let's go to our content drawer. I'll go back to content. And I'm just going to click static mesh. Remember, if you don't have that filter, just go ahead and add it right there. If I take it away, it goes bye bye. So let's just go back and add static mesh. And there it is. And here are my assets. So I'm just going to kind of click and just drag these into my scene here. And there it is. There's one. I'm just waiting. And Remember, you can lift it up in the sky and hit end, and it will snap to your grid here. Now, you can also like rotate. So remember, we have we can access our rotate. So remember W, as in Wilbert, E as in elephant, and R as in Robert. Those will go through your tools here. Now, um, remember, you also have them selected here. So I'll just kind of rotate and place these as I see fit. So I'm going to take this and move it. Now remember, if you hold Alt and you drag off on your handle, this will actually add more content. I may need to bring this in a little bit like that. Maybe just kind of bring them down. Um, I can add some more assets. Let's see. I got this one. Yeah, that one looks a little weird. But let's go in. That's huge. But I'm just going to rotate a little bit and just kind of see what we got. That is extremely massive. And I can come in and add a little bit more. So I'm going to hold Alt and just kind of drag off. So you can have, you have free reign to, to do this how you want. It's totally up to you what you decide to do. And then maybe I can kind of like stack them, go like all. Oh, just kind of put a couple on top of them, put them on top of the other. I'm just building out my scene here, how I see fit. I'm just kind of playing around with this and moving them back. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just kind of adding a little ask some assets in here. And this will probably be my focal point. I do have a little hole there, so maybe just kind of push this and, and just change your orientation. Uh, if you need to move a little bit and move that back, then I got a little gap here. And then maybe add another one. And then I can come in. I have, I think I added this one. So let's possibly add one here. So I'm just going through and adding the assets how I see fit. It's totally your prerogative how you decide to build your scene out um, and make it look. And I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of stacking these, kind of rushing this process. But honestly, I would go in and be a little bit more strategical. Now this one is just off uh, there to me. So I'm just going to delete that one. And feel free to go back to Quixel and get you some more assets if you want. So I'm just rotating and doing this, uh, moving them down and bringing them closer and doing all those that cool stuff. Um, and then maybe just stack this. So Alt, I'm just stacking them up. So I'm just building some type of scene here. And that, that's fine for now. I would really, you know, because we're going to have a camera here, this is totally fine. And then I could go in. And remember, you, if you hit Control L, you could go in and move your scene and get it a little bit the way that you sort of want. So maybe, all right, now that's looking a little bit better. I'm just playing around with the scene here. So go ahead and... Add some more stuff to your scene. Do do what you want. I'm gonna leave it here just for the sake of time. We'll start building out your scene to make this look a little bit more realistic.